Amen. In this video, we're going to talk about how you handle raging dogs. Raging, attacking dogs. Protecting yourself from raging, mangy mutts. This is how you do it. Pit bulls can get it. Rockwilers can get it. American Bulldogs can get it. Doberman Pitchers can get it. All these big dogs that could potentially kill me can get it. A little poodle, a little small dog, I'm not as threatened by them. I wouldn't necessarily uh, shoot to kill them. But a huge dog that could kill me and can bite my leg off and maim me up a bit can do major damage. Yeah, they can all get it. And this is another example of a pit bull. And make no mistake about it, it this just doesn't pertain to pit bulls. Like I just said, all these... There's a lot of big dogs out there that are dangerous, especially when they get on, go on their attack. But this happens to be a pit bull in this video, and this is how you handle yourself with a raging pit bull. Let's go ahead. And he sees out of his corner of his eye a couple of dogs loose in this yard. From here we have audio. Let's listen in and then we'll come back. That's me, y'all. That's me all the way. Why ain't you get your fucking dog? That's me, bro. And now the neighbor want to say something. You ain't hear the neighbor say nothing when the dog was attacking this man. Was raging after this man. You ain't hear the neighbor say shit. Now, and this is why I have a gate over my yard to protect me from idiotic neighbors. I would never live in a community where I don't have a freaking gate around my property. You're just asking for trouble, y'all, when you don't have a gate protecting your property or around your property. This is what you have to deal with. You have to deal with dogs coming into your yard, harming your children, you know, this is what you're putting, this is what you're at risk. You're at risk with these idiotic neighbors letting their dogs terrorize the neighborhood, letting their dogs off leash. And I've seen this happen because I deliver also. I deliver food and I've seen this idiotic neighbor just let his damn big dog off leash to rule, run the neighborhood, terrorize the neighborhood. Just go into other people's yards and hand and do his business, and he should be locked up. When they when he did that, he should be locked up. You know, this is why I have a gate around my fence, around my property. I'm not having it. You're not coming into my yard, and I don't even live near. I I don't want to see a neighbor. I don't want to see you. I got big bushes around my properties. I can't even look at you. I can't see you. You can't see me. And I love it. That's the type of property I have. Big bushes all around my yard. I can't see a neighbor for anywhere. It's like I live on this in this damn pro on this damn land alone. I love it. Keep me away from idiots. But uh let's continue. I just loved it. This this pit got what he deserves. I just wanna wind, wind this because 
This man, see, do, this is how you know dogs are fucking stupid. A lot of dogs that y'all say are so smart are really fucking stupid. They're stupid, mangy mutts. A lot of them. You know, I'm not going to say all, but a lot of these dogs don't have fucking sense. They're raging time bombs. I saw, like I told you, I saw one have a cat in his mouth around 5 o'clock in the morning. I saw a dog in a residential neighborhood walking with a freaking cat in his mouth. He done killed somebody. He might have killed a stray cat or whatever. He caught the cat and had a cat in his mouth. Like it was a freaking toy. And see, this guy, this neighbor, that dog had no business going into the neighbor's yard. Bark, you can bark all you want, but take bark from on your property. Bark and stay where you at. You ain't had to come and attack me. You can bark and but bark over there. Don't bark over here. Don't come over here. The man is in his yard. Do you do you hear a neighbor saying anything? I don't hear a neighbor saying nothing. Look at that. The, the the pit was mad because the man standing was just standing there. Pit got agitated. Cause the man just standing there. You know what I'm saying? I, you 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 people in your in your pits, man. But see this this is mm. Yeah, motherfucker. You ain't so bad now, is you? You ain't so bad now, is you, motherfucker? Look at that. Look at this. Pit ain't so bad now. He, he, uh, he, uh, yeah, motherfucker. Back your ass up. You gonna learn today? Yeah. All that rage got nullified. Uh huh. Uh huh. I got the rage stopper. Yeah, buddy. This is me. I got the rage stopper. I stop all that aggression. I got the aggression stopper to stop you right in your tracks, buddy. This one meat you ain't gonna bite. This one bone you ain't gonna bite today. Uh huh. This one piece of meat you ain't gonna get to chew on today, motherfucker. Cause I know you're Stilo. Look at you. I know you're Stilo. That man was in every right to do what he did. Luckily, he had a weapon on him. Because this dog would have been chewing on him like a toy if he didn't have a gun. And it's hard to get these demons off you once they latch on to you. It's damn near hard to get them off you. But I told y'all how to get these motherfuckers off. You got to choke their ass. That's the only way you're going to get them off. You can't pull them off. You got to choke their ass off. Grab them by that collar and pull up. Twist that fucking collar. Pull up. Choke his ass off you. I've seen plenty of videos where these owners, clueless ass dog lovers, dog orangutan, dog idiots, don't know how to control their dog. This is a perfect example of an idiot neighbor that don't have no control over his mutt pit. And that's why he got shot for negligence from an idiotic neighbor. And you don't hear him saying nothing. But you heard that? Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. The rage stopper. Rage stopper. You ain't so bad now. You got what you deserve, you ass, you a-hole. You got exactly what you deserve. You ain't protecting no property. You know, you're not protecting your home. Like they say... That's why they have you. You know, a lot of people, they got dogs to protect their home. You ain't protect. He wasn't protecting the home. He was being a raging asshole coming to kill. He was on a mission to kill this man, to hunt this man, to bite this man. He wasn't. He was all, all, he was all out of line. You coming on somebody else's property. These dogs don't respect no property. People want to say, well, he protecting his home. These dogs don't give a damn about that. They want to kill something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Now you hear the neighbor. Why didn't you get your dog? Yeah, get your dog. That's the problem with y'all, y'all dog lovers. Get your damn dog. A lot of y'all scared of your own damn dog. You shouldn't have a dog. You're scared of them. And they just let y'all own these damn dogs. These things should be banned. They not a... These, these things have 10... Have the strength of a damn near... A, a, a lion damn near. And are bred to be killers. And are, and are bred to be raging machines. They shouldn't be owned by a regular person. They should be banned, period. Because people are, ir you can't be irresponsible with a, a dangerous mutt like this. They should be banned from city to city, state to damn state. That man is in every right. I don't I don't know this dog. The common damn dog lover uh excuse. Here they go. Why you shoot me dead? Why you shoot me? What the fuck was he supposed to do, man? Pet it. Oh, go calm down now. Calm down, boy. Calm down. He would have been a, 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 a dog toy. Well, you shoot my dad. You went nowhere around to control your mutt, man. He was justified in, what, in his actions he took. He, he was in self-defense. He saved his life. His self-defense. He defended himself like he was supposed to. I don't know this dog. Idiot ass neighbors, bro. I, these dog lovers. I'm telling you, bro. They can go. They can be banned with the dogs. Y'all need to be banned too. <laughs> and the dog ain't dead. And, and they don't had a problem with this dog. This is not the first run in they had with this dog. They've been having problems with this dog. But this just happened to be the day he made. He he went to dog heaven today, a dog hell. One of them, I I say dog hell. He went to dog hell this day. I do not feel sorry for this motherfucker, and he still. And, and you gotta watch these maniac dog lovers. They sacrifice their children for a pit. They sacrifice their children's safety for a pit. They they risk it. They 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 justify in their little peanut brain heads. It's a lot. It you know they find it. They come to some rationale that having a pit is worth their child's safety. For some reason, they oh he ain't gonna do nothing to me. I just all about how you raised them. They have these blockers on, brain blockers on, that tells them that bullshit. Because they want to own a pit so bad. So they put their brain blockers on, you know, and, and cross their fingers every, every, have their fingers up their butt every day with their fingers crossed, hoping that crazy ass pit don't hurt their, hurt their child. You know, that's what they hoping. It don't kill my child. But I risk my child's safety. But I just hope that motherfucker don't bite my child. It's how these motherfuckers think, bro. Because they don't know what a fucking dog's thinking. It ain't, you know, it ain't about how you fucking raise them. You can, you can raise them perfectly. And they still can just go off. Because it's in, it's in their DNA, man. And not, yeah, okay. Uh, not every pit killed. You know, not every pit attacked somebody, but still, you don't know about your pit. Your pit may may go off one day. 
you know, but you deem that's worth the risk of your child. Too much, you got money. That dog trying to get up. You can't walk. You can't walk. You remember the last video I told y'all break they motherfucking legs. You know what I'm saying? You see him attacking somebody, break their fucking legs. He, he he's immobilized. He he acting like he he walking like his leg broke. He can't move his leg. That can stop a threat. Yeah, he ain't barking no more either, is he? Uh huh. He calms his ass down now. Nah. Rage killer took that rage right off him. Yeah, you ain't barking now, is you? Damn, bro, he's just a fuck. Dude, I don't know that. No, dude, I couldn't bring that at me like that. I don't know that. I don't know that. You even tell him to get back. I tried to. I didn't think that. I didn't think this rope was going to come untied. My mom's just tied him up, bro. He a puppy, bro. He my 60-year-old daughter, bro. Pitiful excuse. You see, you see the type of pitiful excuses these dog lovers make, man? <laughs> pathetic. You're pathetic. You are pathetic and should be charged for negligence. You should be charged also. You hear this, man? Listen to him. Get back. Bro. You know that. Don't you come running at me like that. On my time, I don't even know that. You don't even tell him to get back. I tried to. I didn't think that. I didn't think this rope was going to come untied. My mom's just tied him up, bro. He a puppy, bro. He my son. A puppy? That puppy can kill. Fuck it. What are you talking about, a puppy? That puppy got big teeth and will latch on to your ass. You a puppy, bro. I, you I, I dog, bro. Keep your fucking dog. If you got a dog, you need a chain around your damn yard. You need a fence around your damn yard. Especially with a pit. I don't know that. I just got him for it, bro. I understand, but I don't know that. The dog got it. Oh, you got a kick running at me, dog. I understand, bro. I definitely understand, bro. But you ain't. You got to ban these dogs from idiot. These people are, are, they not responsible, bro. I don't know why legislation is sitting on their hands with this shit. People like this are irresponsible. And they have these killers, legal killers, that could kill people, kill their neighbors. And this is the pathetic. This is, this is the pathetic excuse when somebody gets killed, uh, uh, he was, I didn't, he, he got away on the chain, he broke the chain, I didn't know, man. You know, this, this is what they tell the police. Uh, 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 but I just got the dog, man. He, 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 we didn't raise him on to be mean, man. He, he just broke the chain, man. I, I don't know what to say, uh, you know. Ban. That's what you say. Ban them all. Man, they not worth the risk. Yeah, bro, you could have me. What the f am I gonna do? You could go and go bite. See, you see out here? You see? You, you see? You see? You just gave me a. Ch what the fuck are you talking about, man? The man had to save himself. You can't. You gotta react in two point one point zero seconds, bro. He ain't got time to be. Hey, man, come get your dog. He would have got bit, bro. Telling you to come get your dog. You know what I'm saying? He would have been already bit. Probably would have had to amputate his damn leg. Thank you, bro. How do I know that? But you ain't give me a chance. How do I know? Give you a chance. The owner of the dog was cited for a vicious dog at He large. should be in jail, bro. The uh, defender wasn't cited for anything. They did try to save the dog. Unfortunately, the dog had to be euthanized. Tough that he had to make, but he act. The dog had to be euthanized. One down, five million to go. <laughs> One less pit you got to worry about. How about that? Quickly, and I think in his family's best interest, 
we're going to have to talk about significant lessons out of this one. I do have a question for you out of this one. Have you need to 0.93 is currently a peace officer, but was before that a concealed carry instructor. And thankfully he had his tool on him all the time. In the email that I got from him, I always carry my gun, even when I'm just going to go and take the trash out or whatever, because you never know what's going to come. It's a damn shame that you got to carry your gun everywhere you go. For, you you got to prepare yourself for shit like this. And that's exactly true. Now, you see him looking over here. There's got a couple dogs off leash that we can't see on the camera because he wants to see what's going on. Now, he said emphatically he wasn't going to leave because he wanted to get and take his daughter with him. And then what happens is this dog you can see right here, you can just barely see through the bush, charges him. Now, there were two dogs in the yard, but that one... They got dogs off leash. This is what I'm saying. And charges, and you heard in the audio that he wasn't just charging like, hey, let's come and have some fun or whatever. He is charging while growling, right? you know, with the hackles up and all that stuff. This is a big deal and an imminent deadly threat. So this is the beep, guys. When, when things go down, you're gonna have to be able to defend yourself very quickly and decide what am I going to do? Is a dog coming in this manner a deadly threat? 100% yes, it is a deadly threat when it's coming after you. So he gets moving and starts drawing his gun. And he gets his gun out and on target here in a... Okay, now they're talking about gun, all that, how to defend yourself, yeah about 1.6 seconds. And from concealment on the beep, when things are weird, you're not on the range, you're not anticipating things, that's not too bad. I will tell you that the faster you can get your gun out and on target, the better off you can do, and the more options. The dog was such an idiot. When he saw something pointed at him, a lot of dogs would, would run away from that. This idiot still was charging the man. Like he didn't, he didn't give a damn about that gun that you have. Now notice he didn't shoot right here. He got the gun out and ready though because he moved offline and that moved the dog. The dog stopped for just a minute to see what the heck was going on. So getting the gun out quickly gave him an opportunity to assess. And then when the dog chose to charge him a second time and come at him, that's when he fired. Now, I have some inside baseball here from our defender. He actually aimed this first one. It's a 40 cal that he's carrying. It was jacketed hollow points out of his service gun, but he hit that dog right on the back of its skull and he, they recovered a very uh, well mushroomed jacketed hollow point on the sidewalk next to the dog. It actually didn't penetrate the dog's skull. It actually bounced off the dog's skull. And You're lucky. It didn't penetrate the skull because that would have killed that dog instantly. So the dog suffered a little bit before he, got, before he died. He eventually died, as he would say in his video. It knocked him unconscious for a while. That's why you saw him go out. So that first shot may not do as much as you think it did. That's why he kind of jumped over. And now he got three more shots at the dog, at least two of which hit the dog. One of them might have gone into, a, uh, into the berm. Now... I want to talk about this. Recognize that dogs are property, okay? This isn't like shooting a human being. A dog aggressively attacking you is not going to cause you problems if you were if you shoot that dog. Now you're Okay, man. So yeah, the dog, you can see the dog was very alert. Got up, tried to walk. He must have hit him in the leg or somewhere, near the leg or somewhere. I know the dog was immobilized after that, paralyzed from the well, his hind with his front leg seemed to be damaged, well, seem to be immobilized. Anyway, um, this guy's a hero. This guy's me. He's 100%, he acted 100% uh, correctly. This dog is evil, a demon, and he needed to be put down. They should ban these motherfuckers forever from the planet of the earth. You won't have to deal with this shit. They need to, uh, these idiotic neighbors, put, uh, I, I suggest every person have a gate around their fucking yard. Especially if you got pits. But I would never live, I would never get a house this close to my neighbor. No, buddy. We gonna need some space. Yeah, to protect myself from, because I, I like to protect myself from idiots. But, uh... This is how you handle a raging pit. Peace out.